So what are some simple ways to do fractions? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years now. And the words simple and fractions don't exactly go together. But if you want a basic place to start, it might be good to use some scenarios of which you can relate to. Now, one common scenario is that of money. Particularly when it comes to fractions, coins are a great place to start because coins are exactly that fractions of a dollar. So for example, let's just say you have a quarter. We know a quarter is a quarter of a dollar, but what you can do is use this as a starting point to use common denominator fractions. Now we know a dollar is 100 cents and a quarter we know is 25 cents. So what you can do is express a quarter as 25 over 100 and then teach them to reduce to 1 over 4. Same thing with that of a dime. A dime we know is 10 cents out of a possible 100 because for every 100 cents there's a dollar. And then you could reduce the fractions from 10 over 100 to 1 over 10. And you could repeat that for all other coins in the US currency. Show them it's a number over 100 and then reduce, if possible, to other denominators. So that's a simple way to learn fractions. Something else is food. Food is a great way to learn and solve fractions in a simple way. If you're looking for the same common denominator, then what you want to do is slice the food and, or cut the food into equal parts. That will guarantee you equal and common denominators. But if you want your students to learn uncommon denominators, force them to find the least common denominator between the different fractions, then slice the food up into various unequal parts. That'll force them to take a fraction and take another unequal fraction and force them to add unlikely fractions to where they will have to find the least common denominator. But as long as you're talking about scenarios that you can relate to, solving fractions would be a lot easier. So I'm Jimmy, and there are some simple ways to solve fractions.